Hey everyone, it's Deligracy here. Obviously. Okay, I have to stop saying obviously because it's actually a really bad habit. I don't even know where it started, but <laughs> I don't know. I just find it funny that when YouTubers like go in their videos and they're like, hi, it's so-and-so here. And I mean, it's so obvious. Like, of course I'm watching you. I know that already. So I kind of made fun of it and now I can't get rid of it. Hope you guys have been having a good week. I've missed recording this series so much. So I'm excited to be back. You can expect an episode of Hampton Falls every Wednesday. So if you want to put a reminder in your phone, do so. If you're forgetful or if you guys um, haven't already, put that bell on, switch that bell on and get notifications for every upload. Go ahead and do that because you guys, we have seasons now. I can't wait to play Hampton Falls in the seasons because you know when it's really, really cold and wintry, the tea is extra hot. Just to recap um, the last couple of parts because we did miss a couple of weeks. Basically, Morgan uh, is crazy. She's crazy, okay? She was so crazy, she fell like hardcore in love with Joel and she ended up having his triplets. Um, and then when she went to tell him, these are your babies and I want to be with you, he totally didn't believe her and like told her to get lost um, because he was interested in Constance. So naturally, as you do, Morgan just went and killed Constance because she was so fiery and jealous and in her crazy brain she thought, well maybe if I kill her off then Joel will want to be with me. She's ended up in jail. Lauren is getting um, cyber bullied because of it from the other kids that her mom's in jail and a crazy person that killed someone. And Joel, who knows what Joel is gonna do now because that is a hot mess. So without further ado, let's get started in The Sims 4 Hampton Falls. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Let's get into it. Oh my goodness, you guys. It is raining right now in Hampton Falls. Is that not the coolest thing ever? I absolutely love this. I've actually set the first season to summer because um, I just thought it'd be cool to see the seasons change from summer to autumn to winter to spring. Uh, and I just, yeah, I wanted to see it change over. And in my seasons let's play, if you guys have been watching that, uh, thumbs up to you guys. Um, that is actually being set in autumn currently. So I thought we'd go a season back. But anyway, this is really, really cool. And right now it is day four of summer, which is good because I didn't want to do like a full summer. So we get like half of summer. Um, there is a thunderstorm and it is warm. And of course, we're going to have to do a makeover of all the outfits for these Sims um, for the cooler weather. So if you guys want to see that, just let me know in the comments down below if you want to make our uh, video. Sorry, I've got really bad digestion. Okay. So I know you guys have been asking me to please focus on other households. In particular, I'm seeing a lot of you guys asking for the Otegas and the Mikitani family. Um, so bear with me while I tie up a few loose ends. I did not want Esther to have her baby and us miss it. So I definitely want to pop into her household and see how she's going. Now, because MCCC um, mod was disabled, it looks like she's not coming up with her pregnancy moodler over here as a teen, but we can still see that she's definitely pregnant so I believe she's in her third trimester oh my god her mom is hugging her that's really sweet um I really feel like Allison is not going to want to have her daughter have a baby and then look after the baby I I, I think Allison wants to get rid of the baby somehow also uh Terry who is slowly transitioning into Tanya still hasn't been open about um his sexuality and the transitioning so that is another, I guess, skeleton in the closet for now. Um, hopefully that's going to turn out okay. And it looks like Esther is writing. She's doing well. Nice one. And what's this? Shout forbidden words. Oh, little Esther. She is struggling a little bit. Now, I think what we'll do is get her to go to bed because we do have school in the morning. Um, obviously, all the kids are going to know she's pregnant at school. Getting rid of the baby isn't so much like to cover up the baby because most people are already know like that news would spread around Hampton Falls so quickly that Esther was pregnant I think it's more that Allison just doesn't want to deal with it she doesn't want to deal with the baby she's been through having uh three kids she doesn't want any more also she's like so shady she's wearing sunglasses inside I feel like she's um you know doing yoga to make herself feel better but she only does it for a few seconds because she's so all over the place it's crazy. Harry is at work, so that doesn't make sense because his work hours are only 10 till 6. So what is going on here? Let's just get him to leave work. Uh, I don't really understand why that happened. 6 p.m. 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. 
Yeah, what? I am so confused right now. Anyway, he brought home some sweet, sweet cash cashola. Now, because the girls were in bed, I thought we might have a little moment where Terry um, can... You know what? Before you go to bed, Terry, you've worked hard today. I feel like he should treat himself a little bit and have a little moment of makeover. Uh, where is... Okay, Esther's actually sleeping in Crystal's old room, which is really, really cute. She probably does that to feel closer to Crystal. But let's get him to go over here and um, plan an outfit. Let's just get him to try on something nice. And this hair kind of works as well. Maybe she could try out being blonde. Maybe Tanya is blonde. I don't know. Let me know what you think Tanya would be like. Um, I guess it's just still Terry, but in, in a feminine way, I suppose. Oh, doesn't she look gorgeous in the new season's attire? Love that. Love that she's wearing something different. Let's maybe go into the bathroom and freshen up just a little bit. So this is just like one of those secret moments that um, Tanya has where she actually kind of comes out and is herself. And I think that's really, really nice. Okay, so he is walking around the house. It is 5 a.m. now, so I feel like, uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh no! 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 Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys. Esther is having a baby! Oh no! And Terry! Terry! Okay, Esther is calling out to her dad. Oh my gosh, she had a boy! She had a boy! Oh my god, she had a boy. She had a boy. Okay, Lil Simmer said in the comments, uh, Lil Simmer, shout out to you, said that if it was a boy, the name should be Milo. So I'm going to go ahead and name it Milo. Well, maybe not Milo. Uh, Milo. There we go. M little Milo. Yes. So adorable. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at little Milo. Gosh, he's a lot like his dad. Wow. Oh my gosh. I can't believe Esther just had a baby. <gasps> okay, well, I feel like that happened very, very quickly. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like Esther's going to be such a good mom. Okay, so I'm going to get Tanya to come in here and see the baby and congratulate Esther. But the thing is, Tanya uh, doesn't look like Terry. Oh my gosh, Esther's so stressed out. As soon as she saw her dad as a woman, she's like broken out in a rash. She probably just got hives because she would be in a lot of shock. She's probably like, Dad, what are you wearing? What is going on here? Is everything... Okay, are you, is that mom's stress? Sweetie, I'm so sorry that you had to see me for the first time like this. Um, but right now, don't worry, I'll explain later. Everything is fine. I'm just going to go change and uh, call your mother over here. I don't know. I mean, what do you say in that situation? Esther has school. I don't think Esther needs to go to school today just quietly. Um, and also, Allison should get up and probably see... Um, that the baby has been born. <gasps> Joel Harris, I hear there's a world famous circus in the city. Let's go check it out. Um, no. <gasps> oh my gosh. Allison's probably like, whoa, whoa, let's just freeze her face because she would have just seen Terry, aka Tanya. This is her reaction. She's like, what is going on here? I feel like Allison is a smart woman. I feel like she would have seen signs that Terry um, had a more feminine side to him, perhaps. But she's probably been in denial for a long time. Um, but obviously, she would be in shock. Her daughter's like literally just given birth in their household. I think first and foremost, um, she's going to come see the baby. She's probably going to just ignore what she just saw. Oh my god, Esther is like, selfie with my baby. Um, and Allison's having a look, being like, oh, such a precious little Milo. So precious. Uh, and I think, Esther, if you just come back up here, I think um, we should definitely have a moment where they hug, um, not ask about we're here, because clearly that conversation was skipped and uh, not needed. I think we all know about what happens when you woohoo now, Esther. But she's going to come back, and I think Allison is going to want to get rid of the baby. I don't think Allison wants the baby here. She's also freaking out about Terry, Tanya. So she'd be like, okay, I need to take care of everything. <laughs> she's like, did you see your dad? Esther's like, uh, yeah, he was having fun in your clothes. 
it was there like a work dress up and Alice is like oh, something like that anyway take take a photo with me sweetie I think that she's now said hello to the baby she's gonna come in here and speak with Terry and kind of argue a little bit I mean her she's gonna freak out I mean she didn't expect to see her husband in feminine clothes also his hair's still blonde from the wig <laughs> And he's probably like, I wanted to tell you, I really did, but I just didn't know how. She's like, look, I know this has been something that you have shown signs of, but I'm freaking out right now. My daughter's just had a baby. Why did it have to happen tonight? She's just trying to figure it out. They're having a little argument, which is fine. I think what she's gonna have to do is take a little bit of time to process everything. But I feel like she's going to be accepting of Tanya in the end. She's definitely going to need a little time to process all of this, um, but I definitely think her first instinct is we've got to put that baby up for adoption, solve that issue by um, shoving it under the rug. Oh my gosh. And I feel like we are going to change the dirty diaper here. Oh, he's such a good dad taking care of the baby for Esther. So cute. Terry Tanya has reached level two of the parenting skill. He was probably at work so much um, when he brought up his own kids, he might've not had a lot of time with his own kids. So this is a really special moment for him. Aww. I love Terry. I really, really do. Okay, Allison is freaking out so much right now that she's like laughing and making breakfast in the upstairs bathroom. Clearly Allison is not okay right now. Um, so I think what we'll do is she's just going to take matters into her own hands and she's going to simply go over to the computer over here. She is going to pay the bills, do what she usually does. And she's also going to put the baby up for adoption, contact whoever is necessary, write that email that she needs to. So I'm just gonna say reach research um, parenting methods. So she's just gonna go over to here and maybe she's been in contact with a few people about putting the child up for adoption before it was born. And now she's just finalizing that and she's gonna let um, them both know. She probably doesn't even want Crystal and Joel to see the baby. She's probably like, um, no, I just want this baby to disappear. So Terry's come and sat down on the bed. He's probably like, Allison, what are you doing? Terry, do not talk to me right now. After what I've just seen, you are not capable of keeping a calm mind right now. I am doing what this family needs before we sort out everything else that's going on. He's probably like, Allison, come sit down. What I'm going through right now has nothing to do with Esther. Sure, it's bad timing, but we are not taking her baby away from her and giving it away like that. Allison's like, sweetie, what do you expect her to do? She hasn't finished school yet. You want her to drop out of school and look after this baby? What is everyone going to think of us and our family? Listen to her crying. Like, do you want to have to deal with that right now? Terry's like, I am more than happy to look after the baby. I will leave my job and become a stay-at-home dad if that's what it takes. But we are not giving away that baby. And I am sick of you always taking control of any family situation and dominating it. There are six of us in this family and we can make room for one more. Or well, five of us in this, five of them in that family, they can make room for one more. Plus another three. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's a lot of babies in the Harrison or the Harris family right now. Oh, look at Esther. She's probably got no idea what her parents are talking about. Um, but I don't think Esther's going to be seeing the dad again. Let's get her to shh the baby and rock the baby. And I'm going to let you guys decide if we give the baby up for adoption or if we keep the baby. So I'm going to put a poll on the screen right now. And if you guys think that Allison should give the baby to another family, do vote. Otherwise, um, if you think Esther should keep the baby, vote as well. Coming back to the Davenport household, we haven't been here for a little while, um, but I did want to focus on Ajax's character a little bit more because I absolutely love his character. I think he is such a sweet guy. And oh look, it's Destiny just chilling in Ajax's room. Isn't she just a power woman? I think Ajax should come over here and he's definitely not the kind to obsess about favorites 
celebrities. He's more the kind of guy to go over and speak to his mom about game strategy. You know, this family's really athletic except for Ajax. So I feel like maybe his mom, Destiny, who is a talent scout, maybe she would be encouraging him to take part in some gaming tournaments like esports or something like that. So maybe she'll be like, sweetie, you should really get into it. You know, do some do some esports. Um, this is Noah. I'm not sure what I want to be when I grow up and all my friends seem to have it figured out. How do I figure it out myself? Pick something you like. No worries. You've got time. Study for a high paying job. Mm, what would destiny say? I don't feel like she'd be like, no worries. You got time. I think she would say, pick something you really like. I think she'd say that. Whilst well, also telling Ajax, you know, like, you know, get into the competitive esports. Our family loves a good competition. I just lost her. She'd be like, sweetie, you're so talented at it. Just go for it. This is like, keeping in mind so far, this is like the only normal family in that Let's Play. Because I feel like, I feel like Takashi has some skeletons in his closet, maybe. Um, and I definitely feel like the Ortegas do. So <laughs> this is like the nice family. Um, but what I might do is get Ajax to go over to the computer and check his Instagram followers. Oh, no, 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 that's for the cats. <laughs> of course, Destiny would have them for the cats. Uh, you know what? Maybe he should actually start... Where is the gaming? Play game. Enter game tournament. Maybe he should enter a professional tournament. Um, the Refuge tournament. And I feel like whilst he's doing that, Destiny, Destiny might, you know, fill him in about the whole... Uh, monk situation with Morgan being in jail and maybe she could have a chat about that and be like isn't it crazy like I feel so bad for her children like Morgan how is she dealing with that okay Destiny just left the bedroom to let Ajax focus on his gaming tournaments um, rather than gossiping it's so funny because Noah's walked in here and just started watching sports on the TV I mean where's the support for your brother he's probably just being a brother annoying him being like ah oh, like taking your concentration away from the game um so let's get destiny to be like noah get over here she'd be like sweetie come on rain hail or shine we gotta go for a run <laughs> okay let's get them mother son exercise how's that you guys um so she's dragging him out of the house she's all about fitness look at her in her like white perfect wear oh my gosh now she's realizing the rain look at her she's like uh, okay I changed my mind maybe we won't exercise today and also I don't really want them to be struck by lightning so maybe it's not the best idea Noah's gonna give it a go anyway though and Noah is also in a relationship uh with Akira which is really cute so we've got to work on them a little bit more too and I'm also thinking we should probably age up the teens soon as well into young adults um, that would be nice. Anyway, so Ajax is... How is he going in his tournament? He's almost done. Let's just speed this up a little bit. I want to see how he goes. I want to see if he gets the win. Ajax is a geek. These Sims need to play games and are great at finding rare collection items in the world due to their innate knowledge. Did we win though? It turns out that the other competitors in this tournament were better than Ajax. No prize this time. Oh, well, he still did a good job. Um, you know what? Let's maybe just go online and uh, browse the web for a little while. Now, I feel like he would probably be looking up what's been happening with the Morgan, not the Morgan family, the Monk family, you know, researching. You know, when there's gossip going around and you want to find out more, he's probably having a moment like that. And he's probably seeing all of the mean stuff Bianca has posted and all the girls have posted about Lauren. And I feel like him being an outcast, it's probably like a real moment where he feels really, really bad for Lauren. And he's probably realizing, you know, Bianca isn't all that. I mean, if she's going to be mean like that and post things about another person, that's really unattractive. So I feel like I'm going to actually remove his um, romantic interest in Bianca just like that because we can, uh, which I know is a little unrealistic because usually it would take time to lose interest in someone, but he's been in love with Bianca for a long time and she's treated him pretty badly. So I think it's like, you know what? Screw Bianca, I'm over her. So this is a big moment for Ajax. 
Okay, so if we scroll here, the interest in Bianca for romance is like ne negative 100. So he's definitely done a 180 and he's like not interested at all. So I think what he'll actually do is go visit Lauren and actually see how she's doing. He's such a nice guy. He probably is one of the only people that feel like they should go check and see how, how Lauren is and what's going on. So let's get him to go over to her house and say, hey, how's everything going? I heard about your mom and I'm really, really sorry to see what's happening online for you. Oh my gosh, he looks so cute with his little umbrella. Okay, let's go inside here. And by the way, it must be so weird for Mr. Lockwood, by the way, because he's like living with two kids. And by the way, Hello. Bianca's probably so mean to Lauren because she feels so bad about the situation as well. She'd be so insecure. Like her dad is engaged to a murderer. That's pretty bad. But I guess because she's like, well, it's not like she's related to me. She's related to Lauren. It's an easier, um, it's easy to pull Lauren down. Okay, so Lauren is up here. Let's get Ajax to go over to her and do like a friendly introduction because they have they probably know who each other like who each other is, but they've never really spoken properly. It's like, hey, Lauren, I just wanted to check to see how everything's going. You know, I'm really sorry about the stuff that I saw online. I feel so bad for you. And um, yeah, I just wanted to say I'm here for you if you need me. Lauren's probably like, wow, thank you, Ajax. That's really, really sweet. It has been pretty tough. I'm just trying to get by every day, avoiding school, avoiding the public. But thanks so much. Come in. Okay, so Blaine's here, and Blaine's probably like, Lauren, it is much too late for you to be having boys over. He's going to try and, like, father her. She's like, Blaine, you're not even my dad. He's probably like, Lauren, come on. It's time for Ajax to go home. She's like, whatever, Blaine. Well, this is just awkward. He's like, come on, Ajax, please leave. She's got enough going on right now. And he's like, the one friend who comes over to see her and you don't even want me to help her out? Sorry, Blaine, but that's really messed up. He's like, who's the adult here, Ajax? I've got the situation under control. Right, so Blaine has been kicked out of the house by Blaine, which is really, really frustrating. He probably feels really, really bad um, for Lauren. And I think he wants to be there for her. So what we might do is get him to quickly send... A text to Lauren, um, just let her know that he's here for her, and maybe just invite her out to do something fun. Um, and he's standing in the rain while doing that. That's pretty sad. I would not be standing outside by myself in Hampton Falls. Hell no. Um, but yeah, he's just sent, sent a message, which is really, really nice. Um, so let's get him to go inside, get something to eat. It's like one in the morning now, so maybe it was a good time for him to leave. Oh no, what are you doing, you naughty, naughty kitty cat? Okay, let's get Noah to go over to this kitty cat and uh, definitely not offer a treat or friendship, but um, we need to, you know... Okay, I'm trying to find the option that says, like, lecture about scratching, um, but I don't see it here. Oh well. Anyway, maybe we can't unless we have uh, another level of pet care. I can't remember. I thought anyone could. Oh my gosh! Look at this! Is this not the cutest thing ever? Look! Even the cat's in there just chilling out in the sauna. <laughs> Love that! This is so bougie. Both of them just chilling in their sauna. I mean, they may as well woohoo. I mean, let's have a woohoo moment real quick. Um, they're both in there. It's late at night. The kids are in bed. Hello, we're gonna woo her. <laughs> He's so excited. I feel like these two have a very good relationship. So that is that is cute. Oh my gosh, are they woohooing while the cat's there? Gucci, get out! <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to leave this part right here. Do let me know what you thought of the episode. I'm also trying to edit these a little bit less because you guys said that you actually preferred less editing. So let me know in the comments down below if you agree with that and you prefer to see less editing. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to speak to you, to you girls. <laughs> what was I going to say then? Can't wait to speak to you guys soon. Soo-soo!